Hello everybody and welcome back to my quest for the untrimmed agility cape series. Here we are with episode 3 finally. If you missed episode 2, go ahead and give that a watch. Here was a here's a spoiler of what happened in that episode if you missed it. Woo! Dude, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I got it. I finally got it. I'm so happy, man. I cannot believe it. Are you kidding me? Woo! Oh shoot, dude. I can't get a good shot. I finally got it after seven fifth floors. I got the squirrel, dude. I can't believe it. I am so ecstatic. I've been wanting this pet since I started playing RuneScape, man. Holy crap. Let us... Let's grab our marks. I have them in my inventory. Come on, trade. And we're gonna buy the dark acorn. Give me that. Collection That's a collection log. Completed. Do I use it on him? Oh my god. God, it's beautiful, man. I'm so excited. Oh, let's go. What a way to end the episode. Yeah, obviously we got some epic RNG in the last video with the squirrel pet. Um, and we will see how the RNG looks in this video. Woo, boys, dude. The drops don't stop coming. The pet last night. And now I just got a ring of endurance. Let's go. That is 32 KC. The drop rate is 1 in 200, I believe. So that is... I'm being spooned right now, and I couldn't be happier about it. Let's go, man. Let's go. That's 30 mil almost, 27. Woo! <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. What a good start to run in floor 5, baby. Uh, I forgot to mention that that actually greens our sepulcher log. I'll get through this trap and pull it up real quick. Just jump up. Well, here, I'll do it now because I'm stupid and clicked early. Uh, collections, mini games, hollowed sepulcher. We got a green log, baby, after 32 grand coffins. Ah, what a beautiful sight. What a beautiful sight. All right, it's been a couple of days since I first unlocked the fifth floor, and uh, I guess I haven't really shown any of me running it since my first attempt. Oh, this guy's saying hello. Hi. Um, good luck, homie. He thinks I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. I already have pet. Watch this. Oh, shoot. He left. Okay. Um. Anyways, I haven't shown Floor 5 since my first attempt, which was obviously rough. So I figured I would show it off and show how much better I've gotten at it. Um. I've also wanted to point out that I've never failed the fifth floor, failed to reach the chest in time. Um. I do generally bring one of these tokens with me in case, like, I just play terribly. Um. But that doesn't, I don't often have to use them. I've only had to use it like once or twice when I was learning. Um, so this is a cycle you can do. As long as you hit one of these blue dots, you can, oh, and I hit two. As long as you hit one of those blue dots, you can run right past this sword as soon as it comes back. Um, I've gotten a lot of the timings down uh, pretty well and don't often mess up. So um, I thought I'd just uh, showcase that here for you guys so you believe me that I am a god gamer. A lot of people say the fifth floor is, like, frustrating. I've had comments saying that they unlocked the fifth floor and didn't do it very much because it was too frustrating of a way to train. But I find it so much fun. Uh, it's much better XP, much better loot. Um, what did I just get loot-wise? Adamant bolts. That's one of the worst drops I can get. But, oh well. Yeah, much more fun, much better loot-wise than the other floors. And uh, now, honestly, when I find myself running the first four floors to get down to this one... Um, they're just boring. I just want to be on this floor because it's it's more challenging and it's more fun. Um, this one, I found out you can do quite a long skip. Just run all the way here. Do this in two steps. Here. Click over. Bang. And then fire. Click. Uh, you click as soon as you see the fire if you want to be tick perfect on these traps, the fast fire traps. Um, again, on this one, you just need to make sure you hit at least one of the blue dots if you're going to try to beat the sword going out. Uh, and then you can get to the safe spot if my guy will actually step over. Um, plenty of time left, as you can see. Uh, I don't loot the first floor, four floors. And I have a confession to make. I have not done a single clue since I've started running the fifth floor. And it's because, uh, like I said, I only loot the fifth floor chests, and that gives expert clues. Um, or what are they called? Elite clues, not expert. Uh, and I simply can't be bothered. I'm sorry. I know loot openings, or like casket openings, are something that 
my viewers probably love and like most runescape uh watchers on youtube really enjoy watching but i just can't be bothered to do elite clues especially because this is the skill of the week for my clan and i'm competing neck and neck with somebody to make sure i gain the most xp this week um so stopping to do elite clues which i'm just not well versed in it just takes so much time and i'm not getting any easier clues so uh no caskets right now Maybe I'll make up for it. Who knows? I think the drops I've gotten in this have certainly made up for uh, the money. Ah, uh, shoot. I wish I would have gone all the way there, but we'll play it safe. Step through. And fifth floor done. Look how clean. Look how clean. Um, Something that I didn't know until I really figured it out myself, started running, is this chest right here always gives two loopholes. Uh, so let's see. We'll get a double loot pull here. Don't give us monkfish. It gave us monkfish. I hate this game. Freaking monkey fish. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys at the Grand Coffin. See if we can pull a ring. Alright. Give us another endurance ring, please. More monkfish, man. Let's go, boys and girls. I just got my second ring of endurance after only 96 lootings of the fifth floor. Um, let's go, man. That's 30 million GP. That is absolutely crazy. I got them in for 27 mil right now. Close to 30 mil XP. I meant 30 mil GP. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> I, I can't wait for them to go. Oh. All right. Here's 94 agility. 94, baby. We are getting there. Only, what does that make it? Five more to go? Woo. Uh, I didn't catch my 93 level up, and I just decided I would ignore it instead of... Oh, I have to take late, so I gotta stop here. Yeah, just decided I'd ignore it. Um, and yeah, so now we're 94. This is the skill of the week for my uh, my clan that I was trying to grind so hard to get to the floor 5 for. Uh, so I'm officially winning my uh, clan skill of the week because of my agility grind here. Hello, editing Brandino here, cutting in. I figured... I should show you guys the results to the skill of the week that I mentioned a couple times so far in the video. Um, here you can see I won. Uh, this happened in the first week of April. And I gained 3,061,000 XP in a week, which was uh, it was quite the grind. I, I spent a ton of time. Um, and that's when most of the leveling and looting in this video happened. And I've just passed the 8 million agility XP mark. Very, very nice. Only 5 million and some change more to go. There's 95 agility. Very nice. I'm on floor 5 and it's gonna boot me. Something I think either RuneScape servers just crashed. I don't think it's my internet. Uh, this is a tragedy. I am upset. Just let me get my coffin and my XP mainly. Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> no. Alrighty, so uh, it is time we have a brief talk. It is now April 25th, which is, uh, you know, it's probably coming up on a month. I'm not sure the exact date since I posted my last, uh, my last episode of this series. And that is due to... Dun -dun -dun -dun, Burnout! Who would have thought that running nothing but Sepulchre and getting 3 million XP in a week would make me not want to log into RuneScape for a while? Um, I know, crazy concept. Um, but I'm finally feeling the motivation to get back at this, thanks to uh, some people. Yeah, you can see here my my uh, private messages. Um, I really appreciate them. I'll put the, put the people that have been super supportive of my videos on screen now. Um, but that wasn't really the point of this interjection. Um, the point was to say that uh, I'm finally getting back to it, and I hope to get this video out today or tomorrow. Um, and we will be up to level 96, which is very nice. Um, I do believe that I didn't record my last uh, Ring of Endurance drop. I actually got a third Ring of Endurance, and I don't think I ever got a clip for it back in the day, uh, be being a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't think I actually made a clip because, yeah, still being burnt out and all. We are on the final stretch to 96 here, and that is 800 Floor 4 completions. Good lord, that number just keeps going up, huh? Look at that overall time. 250th completion, 8 minutes 
flat. Not that that's like a, a good speed, not that it's fast or anything, but look at it, it's just so pretty. It's flat. Beautiful. Okay, this might just be 96 agility. Oh, it's not 528 short. Okay, be right back. <laughs> okay, this time for real. 96 agility. Let's go. I clicked right off of it immediately by accident, but uh, there's 96. Let me prep some things because that's the last level we're going to get for this video. Uh, so let me prep some things. We have so many hollowed marks uh, to buy sacks with, so uh, this should be a lot of money. All right. All right, so here we go. We're going to have 54 hollowed sacks to open. That is so many. Uh, I can't even buy that many. Um, let's go ahead and stack them up in our bank. They're going to go in here. We'll do that. Put them here. This is where we're going to be opening all of the loot into. Great. Uh, this should be able to finish them up. Yep, finish them up. Easy clap. Okay, and then we're going to do 10 at a time here. So let's get going. I'll probably speed through this. That way you guys don't have to watch for too long. Okay, so previously, we've opened 76 hollowed sacks for a total of 6.62 million GP. Now that I have that noted, we can see how much we've made since then. Let's get going. All right, that finishes it up. Look at these alkables. Uh, in the alkables alone right there, there's half a mil, call it, we'll round up. Yeah, that's a million in alkables alone. Beautiful, another 30K there. But let's do some math and see how much money we just made. Uh, so we were at 6.6 .6, up to 10.3. That's a, a little under four mil. You know, it wasn't as good as I thought. That's really not as much money as I thought per sack, but hey, Nobody's going to complain about 4 mil from opening some hollowed sacks, uh, and all that's on top of the rest of the money we made this episode, so let's not overlook the three rings of endurance from this episode. 94.5 mil. Absolutely insane. I'm up to 156 from running Sepulchre, plus the 10 mil, making it 166 million GP from running this grind and making this YouTube series. That's crazy. That is amazing. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps a lot. I would like this video to reach as many people as possible. So doing that's great. Also, we hit 100 subscribers, uh, which is pretty sick. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it. That way we can push towards 1,000. Uh, anyways, thanks again, and I will see you next time.